Okay, so today in our series of videos, we're at the top of our seven tier tower. You can tell this pump is very robust. Huh. Um, and what we need to do is remove some of this. I'm gonna take two of these um, sections off. But like we talked about before, this particular Swiss chard plant, it's time for him to go. He's getting too big uh, for the port that is supporting him. So I could plant him in the ground. I'm probably gonna split him. Um, and I have a separate video on splitting these types of things if you wanna look at that. So we're gonna take this guy apart and we just kind of search for the screws in here. There they are. Um, and because this guy is, he's top heavy, he's probably gonna fall. So I'm gonna do my best since my husband is camera-ing. Um, and I might even, I'll tell you what, let me turn the pump off so that we don't get totally drenched here. I'm gonna just unplug that pump. And I've unscrewed the bolts here. Here's the other one. So take these bolts off. You might have um, the rings in there, but we didn't put ours back in apparently. And then this is where it gets a little bit tricky, guys, so it kind of helps to just get a little bit rough. But because this guy is bulged out here, there we go. I'm gonna have to kind of just really jerk. So, and this is really kind of the roughest you ever have to get. Now, what I want him to show you, first of all, that will clean off with vinegar. Don't panic about it, it's all good. But look in here at the massive root systems, okay? This is basil, this is celery, and this is a Swiss chard plant. He has to come out. And see, he's even, he's busted out his cup. <laughs> His roots are probably all the way down a few sections. So it's time for this guy. He's just done. So I'm going to have my husband help me wrestle with this. We will stop for now. But this is why at some point in time you've got to kind of trim these babies back. 